This is Sherry at the Troll Hole Museum in Alliance, Ohio. Crunchy Noises Lady in the back. It's our little mascot, Papillon. Every time I come to the Troll, she's everywhere with me. Hi, lady. And we're here to unbox trolls. Giant box from Jana Hasselbring in Michigan. I bought some and some were donated. Beautiful box decorated with poppy and branch. And it is open, cause guess what? I filmed a whole 30 minutes unboxing this just to find out my camera was full. So that's me trying to do it all, wearing many hats videoing, unboxing. Luckily, I have Octomouse Designs who does a great job editing these clips. So, you want to know any more behind the scenes stuff like uh, about the trolls and what I do here? We're just here to enjoy life. Let's get to it, unboxing this. I love the Star Wars bag. Yeah, I'm a bag lady. I like carrying things around in bags. So we're just gonna do a dump here. Boom, dump. These are Dom trolls. Damn, it's supposed to be Dom. 1986, stamped on the bottom. Some of these she's redressed. She did have a post on Facebook Club where she was posting these cool ones for sale. This one's a little newer. It says TT, totally troll, original 2001. The troll company, APS, Playmates Toys, authorized user, made in China. Playmates look almost identical to the Doms made in 1986, which was underneath the brand Norfin. So, oh my goodness, is there a lot of manufacturing stories between different types of troll dolls? I don't have all the answers, but I have a lot of them and some really cool stories. So here is another one of the 1986. Maybe we'll sort them out here. This has been redressed. It almost looks like her bathing suit underneath there, but Jana's really good at redressing these. There's one, adorable. The dress is an original, but this little hat looks original. So I will check that out later in the museum to see if I have any. The peace guy, that was a pretty common one. Oops, he's got bunny ears. So I think the bunny ears were original and the peace outfit must have been added subsequently, but we'll play around with that. I'm not sure if I have one with bunny ears or not. Cool, fun things. Here's a little baby, his hair. See these headpieces are stitched on in the back. That way we know they're authentic and came with the doll. Gotta make that baby look sharp. This is another 1986. And here's a custom one, really faint on the bottom. It's a 1986. It's got some beautiful feather wings, little scarf to keep her warm, though she's kind of dressed like she's going to the beach. One of the ones from 2001, Trolly Troll. And you can see he's got a little spot on his hand. You're supposed to hold your thumb or something warm on there and it will reveal a secret message to you. So I don't know if that's still working, but I'll hold on to him and we'll see. Here's a cute little sailor dude. It's been redressed. This is a 2005 Thomas Dom Poulsen originally came up with this iconic image in Denmark in the late 1950s, which you can see as late as 2005, they were still making the troll dolls in his classic image and selling them. Authorized franchises and unauthorized franchises. Nope, I don't see anything coming through on this little hand. I'll hold it a minute longer. So here's another real cool little redress outfit with the shorts. The trolls are a little bit tricky because they did not have movable arms and they're, they're kind of stuck out. Here's another guy with the hand. So these were my two totally trollers, which as I said, look really identical to the other ones. Here's another 1986 and another 1986. This one's actually stamped in black markings made in China, whereas most of them it's embossed in there. So you can see many different models, many different types. She embellished and put a little red felt heart there. So we got a little devil tail there. No tail on this guy. Clearly he's a little devil. Originally they came with a little headband with horns, but I wanted to show you something interesting here. This outfit is almost identical to this one off the ITB that I unboxed earlier today. So the ITB, that's the name of the company on the bottom of the feet once again, and you can see it's almost the same identical outfit. So I don't know, did this ITB come in a smaller one and get redressed on this dom? Great question out there. If anybody has any comments, leave them below, but they look like the same outfits. An ITB did come in three different sizes, small, medium, and this is the large. Enough with the little Henri Devil fellows and all the Dom ones. These are the type of dolls that are most prized by the collectors. Of course, they prefer the ones from the 50s, 60s, and the ones made in Europe, not the more newer ones, but they're pretty cool. And you notice different facial expressions, an open mouth, a nice little smile, and they all have synthetic fiber for the hair. Of course, the original dolls all had Icelandic wool. All right, let's see what else. We've got some fun stickers here she sent. Gridiron, football themed stickers, and we might be able to use these in our troll football stadium, the Troll Bowl. So that is one of our exhibits here in the museum. Okay, here's another one that I spied on her website. You need a doll company. So it looks like she's put some new hair on there. And the You Need a Doll Company made the trolls from the 1960s all the way up through 2007. It's got a bunch of words stamped on the back 
of the neck and on the back of the shirt, but it's the classic I love you, which was for the holidays. And it looks like these shorts have a little white rivet holding them on. I don't know if that was original or not. It's possible because it's really tricky to pull pants up and down over the troll's arms and buttockses. Yes, a lot of times trolls are sold naked, but this is a really cool, super little dude from between 60 and 70. All right, I like anything and everything troll. It doesn't have to be the older version or this version. So here's DreamWorks Troll Dolls from 2016 movie because now the World Tour movie's out and they are distinctly different. So these cute little mini pillows, little pillows. I'm not sure if I have the whole set. There's four or five in the set. I'm not that compulsive. I don't go out and search out whole sets. And here we have the twins, the hairdressing twins, Satin and Chenille. Don't ask me which is which. I'm not that good. And a guy diamond and a princess Poppy. So these are little action figures. Looks like Pop Poppy's doing a little dance move there with their arm up like that. Just the heads move but not the other parts. And then we have some that look like little cake toppers. There's Satin and Chenille again. And then that was the guy that got him in trouble, the uh, guru that was meditating and he sold him out. There's another little character. I'm not sure which one he's supposed to represent. Could be the same one, right? So we got yellow pants and bluish hair. And we got DJ Suki, another little cake topper. So these are some of the cheaper ones, but these little ones were sold in blind bags. So they had a series one through seven, I think, little blind bags for uh, five bucks a piece. So here we got some dream DreamWorks characters. And these I do resell in the shop and we use them in displays and things like that. While we're on the DreamWorks theme, let's see what else we got DreamWorks wise. Some heavy duty rubber ones, really solid thunk, thunk, thunk. If I'm not mistaken, these were used as pool toys in a series of three. And there's Guy Diamond, but he looks like he might've encountered some heat because his head's a little bit twisted. Sold right after the movie first launched in 2016. So it's almost like you want to twist that head, but I'm afraid it'll twist right off. And then we'd be stuck with something weird. Here we go, Princess Poppy keychain. So this is very similar to some knockoff ones that I see in the shop here all the time. So I'm not sure if DreamWorks franchised any with this keychain on it, but they do sell a bunch of these. I think they have some of these in a bubble pack. Lots and lots of products on the market because where do you make your money when you do a movie? Franchise merchandise. So let's see, what else do we got in this humongous box that weighed like 40 pounds and I'm not joking. Aha! Treasure Trolls. I saw that Jana had these up on the Facebook page and I'm gonna go through them real quickly. Once I sort them out, I sort them out to boys and girls and there's certain themes. There's the party dresses, there's the ball gowns, and then there's sports. So these are two of the little dresses. So I'll match them. Do they have the same colored outfits and the same colored hair? There was a limited number of these designs done. They weren't endless. So I am reaching the end of where my case of these is almost complete. I don't know what all the designs are, but I do know that most of the ones that I find nowadays are duplicates. So there's two little dancers. Here's one in a nice party dress, one in kind of a school dress in the yellow. Soccer dude, tuxedo dude. And we got another casual and one in a cool yellow tux. Let's see, two girls, one in kind of a red Retro with some cool sunglasses. The other's got lace up little booties on. Two more party girls off the shoulder, out to have some fun on the town. Here's two sports ones. This one's got T for troll team, and she's off to the beach. Here's two that would make a good couple going out to the prom with the blue tuxedo and the pink dress. All nice condition, really nice condition. Here's two sports guys. One's in like a college sweater. The other one is uh, number 36, but you see the T on the pocket there. Go trolls. Here's a long gown pretty blue ribbon in the back. So I'll be excited to see if any of these are new. With all these subtle color combination, it is hard for me to keep track. And clearly I know I have a bunch of these. I'm pretty sure I recognize this iconic one in the hula skirt. And then here's another couple that look pretty good together to go to the prom with a kind of mauve tuxedo and a blue dress. So I love the little treasure trolls. They're really solid, not pencil toppers, and they have nice little details. Plus their iconic magic gemstone. Make a wish, who knows what might happen. Okay, onto this box and we have some more on the little trolls. Yes, we love our little trolls. First is the company Somo. The Somo did about nine or 10 designs, maybe not even that many, because some of them they added uh, pink bunny ears to. So we count those separately. So we have a set of superheroes here. One, two, three, there we go. Three superheroes. 
We have two strong men, and someone tied his hair up and gave him a little thing to hang from. And this one, we've got a caveman there. A special section in our museum where he might go. It's called the Dino Troll Rama. Our friends from one trillion BC. And then there you've got the guy in the blue suit. Maybe a, like a stay-at-home mom and a go-to-work dad. And it's a Zelf. Pencil topper Zelf. First time I've had one of these in my hands. It's got a light coating of glitter on him and um, some really nice quality hair there. Because oftentimes they put very thin hair on the cheaper dolls. So Zelfs were originally troll flings. The artist was in Ohio here named Amber and she created this iconic image which then became Zelfs and were sold commercially. All right, this box is still filled to the top. Here we have some some trolls from like the 90s. They have painted on clothes. These are copycats. They just say China on the bottom of the feet. We got two girls and two guys. I'm pretty sure I have these in the collection. They can be same type of doll but like these different colored vests. Well he's got different colored eyes and different colored vests. Hi there. Hi. Let's go play. Let's go exploring. Let's check out this troll hole. Ooh, I love your pink eyes. It matches your pink hair. Okay. This one. Wow. She's got some lipstick on. Got some hot pink and green shorts there. Little tennis shoes. Looks like she had a little damage there on the bottom. These did have little holes there. That would be something that you would hold them in the box to keep them from flipping over. Or you could set them on something that then gave them more stability. So she's pretty cool and she's happy. She's waving. Because trolls love to sing, dance, and drink. So this one is going to be special to the museum. What else do we have here? This one looks pretty special. Caravan from Montreal, Canada. What do you think, guys? Does that look like a troll? It's got wild hair. Can't tell how many fingers or toes. There's no visible tail, but he definitely looks like some of the other trolls that we have in there. It's kind of busting out at the seams here with the belly. So is he weird, misshapen, and creepy? Well, we're going to add him to the troll collection. I just take a picture, put it in my Google album, and then I put him on the shelf next to whoever he looks closest to because I've never ever seen one that looks quite like this. He's got extra pockets in his jacket. Might have been trying to do something. Maybe a horticulturist because trolls love the outdoors. So so sweet. All right, and a lovely piece of felt. Felt is what they made the original clothes out of. Let's see, we've got a soft-bodied DreamWorks smidge. Ooh, I like smidge because she's got all that hair. She talks kind of funny. She talks in a deep voice. I didn't get it quite right, but you know what I mean. So there's smidge. So this counts as one of the trolls, and I will match them up to see which ones I have. Oh, look, a lovely little pink heart. She's got such a big heart. Princess Poppy. Some of them, you squeeze the belly and they talk, but this one is a more generic one. What else do we see in here? Okay, well, we'll just mix and match. Russ, these were called Troll Kids, K-I-D-Z, Troll Kids. So she's in a lovely gingham outfit here, lovely pink gingham outfit with a nice little pocket. You know what? Wouldn't it be fun to put a little treasure troll in her pocket? Look at that. Now she wanted to jump out of the pocket. Maybe she don't want to be in the pocket. There. Now she's in the pocket better. All right, we got little troll kids in the pink ginnum. So I am familiar with these. So there's another troll kids new with the tag. And on the tag, it tells a little story about the legendary trolls. Because you know, before it was a troll doll, it's a real live creature that has inhabited the earth longer than anyone else. So when you come to the Troll Museum to take our guided interactive educational and funny tour, you can learn even more stories about the trolls as real live beings. And they are alive and well today. Come learn about them. Here's another little troll kids getting ready for St. Patty's doing her uh, little cheer. And up, oh, this is the one that was wrapped up in the felt. This is a copycat of the original Unita Wishnicks. It doesn't have the double horseshoes, but I recognize that more horizontal look. And it's really super uh, lightweight plastic. I did not see that in the picture. So some people might think these are valueless, but I think they're cool and unique. What do we got here? Ooh, another little ballerina. Troll Kidsy and the pink ballerina. She's a good favorite. And the Christmas. Yeah. I don't know why they always have these in the back. <laughs> cheeky, cheeky little Christmas one. Really good condition. All of her stuff has been well cleaned before it's shipped out. Oh, another beautiful little heart to decide what to do with all those felt hearts. So here's your troll kids. He actually got some bangs cut there, so that makes him unusual. But I do have these in the collection, but they're available for rehoming. Ha! Huh. It's Branch to go with the poppy that got buried. Yeah, there we go. A pair, Branch and Poppy. They're an item now. That's what we'll do. We'll put the heart between them. Whoop. He gives his heart to her. And there's DJ Suki, one that remixes the noise. She's our music maker. Okay. Another Princess Poppy. Looks very similar, but you can see different. Her headband's different. 
This is a felt dress and this is a silky dress. Matches her silky headband. So I will take these to the special section of the museum where we keep track of those. And I sure hope this is filming because I'm not going to do this a third time. Pirate. Sinbad the sailor turned pirate. Something about the eyes. Something about the hair. Can we ever have too many troll dolls? Whoa, I don't know. I'm going to tip this over a bit. See what else we've got here. Oh, biggie. Don't see Mr. Dinkles, but there's a biggie. And it's a nice type stuffed dude here. Don't know if I have him or not. He's from the 2016. That's what the tag looks like. Now all the toys come out with the Trolls World Tour logo on them. Let's see here. More of the Trolls World Tour. I'm getting buried in this pile of trolls here. Branch. These were sold at McDonald's in the Happy Meal. The trolls came compliments of a Happy Meal. There's Cooper. She's got multiples in here. Another Cooper and then a Guy Diamond. Oh, look at that. And the hair is Baby Diamond. I did not notice that before. See, there's all kinds of little details. You really got to study them and pay attention. So these are action. He's shaking just right. His feet go back and forth. He's skating. And there's Biggie. There's his Mr. Dinkles there. So once again, this is the world tour variation. There's the cloud guy. He's ready to do some dancing. We have a special section of the museum for the Rock and Troll Hall of Fame. And all these singers are all there. Techno guy. Kind of a neon fellow that lives under the ocean and does funky dancing. Don't ask me to try to do my techno impression. Another guy diamond and three more Coopers. So these are all McDonald's Happy Meals. And guess what it says? only in theaters. Ha! That turned out not to be the case, right? Because in 2020, COVID-19 shut down the theaters and so DreamWorks Trolls World Tour was the first movie to ever go directly from the makers to streaming and skip the theaters, which caused a lot of controversy. So I'm going to toss these all back in here real quick. Like those are very cool and I already have some great ideas of what to do with them. Getting down to the bottom here. I'm saving the best for last. So these were before the Happy Meals, Burger King did. These here, Kids Clubs. These are based on video gamers, these characters. Kid Vid. So if you're familiar with the video gamers, IQ, Kid Vid. I can't make out the name of the other ones. Jolts. Anyhow, they glow in the dark. So they're kind of cool, but they are pretty common. Um, they, they cranked out, I don't know how many, probably a billion of them because they're, they're everywhere. Here's another little imitation. Uh, Mr. Russ Berry Company came up with some of these for the holidays with these little elf shoes on in red and green. Is a keychain. It's not stamped Russ, so I'm going to take a wild guess that this is a copycat. I do have a bunch of keychain ones. I'll have to double check if this one's unique enough to go in the collection. And we got these cool little bears. Series of bears with little wind up on it. One actually still works. So they kind of walk. Yeah. Mr. Thomas Dom actually created a really walking talking troll doll that's more this size but based on these type of mechanics. It's a really rare one if you find it worth a lot. We got a, a magic baby troll here. They were sold with little bracelets and a little powder of glitter. And when you dissolved it, a charm would appear. You put the charm on your bracelet and you have your magic baby dolls. They came in two varieties, solid and this one fully jointed. So some couldn't move at all. Magic baby trolls. Once again, not one of the most sought after ones, but I think they're really cool. This looks so, so like new, so new, new. All right. Things got spilled out a little bit. There was the other pom pom DreamWorks character heads. Hmm. Looky here. Here. DreamWorks came out in 2016. Pencil toppers, classic pencil toppers. They were sold in the Happy Meals. It was uh, five in the series with Poppy Branch, Guy Diamond, Fuzzbert, and that little girl there. So they're their pencil toppers. Those aren't very rare or unique. And we have two heads. Okay, what should we do with a head? One looks like it came out of a blind bag and got detached. If you stop in at the Troll Home Museum, you'll see our wall of custom troll dolls and the cool things that people came up to do with troll heads. I can't quite break it, but I can take the ones that are already disconnected connected and do something with them. So it looks like wrapped up in these lovely pieces of felt. I really like that pattern there. It's two more of those. Now I don't have any like this. So these two are going to be unique and add to the Guinness collection. It says made in China. Is that really super thin, but the hair is thicker. So I would say these are probably from the 1990s as opposed to a newer. Though even today, they're still cracking out lots of duplicate trolls based on old molds, new molds, just really incredible. So we got here. What do we got here? Oh my goodness, look at that. Mmm, he smells like a grape. This is the grape dude. Wow, I've admired this for some time. I took the picture off Facebook and printed it up and it's one of the ones that I show people about how you can customize a troll doll. Plus, I think she's weighted this fellow. They had hollow heads and this feels like it's been weighted, so it's kind of heavy, but he's gorgeous. Long admired this cool custom troll doll by Jenna. Okay, now we got another cool. He's got swords, he's got nunchucks, got a machete. Wow, machine gun. Wow, definitely looks like a character. 
character. Oh, you can even see his eyes. I kind of like that. Something about the eyes. So I'll just push his goggles up a little bit there so you can get a cool look. So she's got really super cool glitter job on the back of it. Wow. I think we'll have to create a whole diorama based around this fellow here. Special warrior dude. Put him there. We're lost on my pile of trolls. And then the last two at the bottom of the box. Whoa, a purple one. So this looks customized, kind of like the red one here. It's got orange eyes. So you can replace the eyes and it's got two holes in the bottom of the feet. So this was a special, not the regular ones. Don't see any markings. So it's really tricky to tell. That's rabbit's fur for the hair. So I got three custom ones here. Grape one. Oh, before we forget, we got a cool little knockoff one here with the painted underwear, similar to these here. There we go. Even though they're so similar, so different. Can you imagine how many different trolls there are? These have nice pointed ears. These have rounded, all kinds of cool little things. Hi, hi, let's go find a place to go swimming. Okay. All right, so these are sensational. Maybe she'll join our rock and rollers. And I love that grape head, really nice and even smells like grape. So here we are. The specialist trolls from this unboxing. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all my troll friends out there for sharing the custom trolls with me here at the Troll Hole Museum. It's Trolltastic.